in 2019, we took our first ever cruise and we took you along with us for our Caribbean Cash Tour. Now we're proud to present Caribbean Cash Tour 2. We visit nine ports of call in Eastern and Western Caribbean and we'd like you to join us. Come along, adventures beckon us and geocaches wait to be found. Our first port of call was Princess Kays in the Bahamas. The geocachers from the cruise disembarked to start their day on the island. Princess Kays is a private resort area on the island of Eleuthera. The island forms part of the Great Bahama Bank. The name is derived from Greek and means free. It is a long and thin island being 180 kilometers long and as narrow as 1.6 kilometers wide. Its eastern side faces the Atlantic Ocean and its western side faces the Great Bahama Bank. Is everybody ready for an adventure? Oh, yeah. yeah! All right, we've got uh, Outsiders 2, uh, Mongo Hubby, and uh, the blue quasar, Lyric Loss over there, and way back there is Spring Water, and our driver is Earl Curtis. Oh, Earl Curtis. All right, let's go. We're going to go see an Earth Cache with a rating you won't believe. Aboard Old Curtis's taxi, we drive 3.6 kilometers to the beach access. Due to construction by the Disney Corporation, access to the southern point is no longer accessible by road. From here, we need to walk along the beach for 2.9 kilometers to reach the ground zero of the Earth Cache. So it's a lovely day for a stroll on the beach and unfortunately we can't drive the entire way to the lighthouse and the southern point of the island. For us it just means a lovely two mile stroll on the beach. It's not too hard to take. It was a long walk, but there was lots to see and experience along the way. And isn't that what they say? It's the journey just as much as it is the destination. Three and a half million geocaches, and this one's extra special. Well, what makes it so special? We'll talk about it up top. Hey, okay, let's go. Awesome or what? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's quite the walk to get out here, but well, as we're, we're supposed to say, we're supposed to say, it was awesome, it was worth it. <laughs> and that's what your shirt says. Uh, yes. Don't forget to be awesome. Absolutely. This is a 3-4 earth cache. Yeah, and there are 124 3-4 earth caches in the world. Well, that doesn't seem like too few. But, it also has the designation of being a large. Oh, wow. And there are only two, three, four large earth caches worldwide. Awesome. You know what else, Dave? <laughs> yeah. 
you can't make a large earth cache anymore. Oh, so this is grandfathered in or just... This is totally special. Totally, this is special. The only other one that's like this is in Tennessee. Tennessee, are we driving that way? Not anywhere soon. <laughs> it's much warmer here right oh, now. Oh, it's beautiful. There is also a traditional here, but uh, it's off in the bush. And we have a taxi waiting, and it's a long walk back. Uh, it almost seemed like it's a longer walk back than it was to get here. <laughs> and that was long enough, so let's get going. There's more caches on the beach, back of the ship. As luck would have it, an adventure lab was posted today as we landed on the beach. So we're just going about finding the answers to this five location adventure lab on Princess K's. Well, we finished the adventure lab. It's pretty easy, but it's a nice little tour. Yep, we did the creme de la creme of geocaches here. Yes, we didn't get the traditional, but we yep. got what we went for. Didn't you say we always have to leave one more in case we yes. ever come back again? There you go. Thanks for coming with us on this little side trip from our cruise on the Bahamas. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take, take you? you.